Hello, my name is Elise Van Bloom. I'm a very lewd VTuber. This guide will show you how to automatically turn an audio file into a libsys VND file for Mika Mika Dance, Mika Mika Moving or Kaikatsu using a simple program I created called Audio2VMD. Using this, you can automatically lip sync your characters to any song or speech audio. First, download Python 3106 and run the X to install it. During the installing, make sure to check the app Python 310 to Pathbox. Next, download Audio 2 VMD from the GitHub page. I'll put a link to it in the description. Right click the zip file, go to Properties, check the envelope checkbox, and click on OK. This step may not be needed, but Windows might otherwise give you a warning when using the path file since these are using user-made scripts. Next, unzip the zip file wherever you would like audio 2 VND to be at on your computer. It's recommended that you have it on a solid state drive, if you have one, for faster speeds when running the app. Next, go into the audio 2 VND main folder and double-click on the install.dat file to install audio 2 VND. This may take a while to download all the required files and should take up about 2 gigabytes of space. After getting the installation complete, message, you can close the window. With this, setup is fully complete and we can use audio to VMD. There are two ways you can easily use audio MD. You drag and drop an audio file into the audio to VMD bat file to automatically convert it to a VMD. Where you can double click on the audio to VMD bat file to launch the key. Click Add Audio Files to open a window where you can select audio files. This also accepts Pever and Math video files containing audio. Click on Browse to change the output folder if you like, and click on Run to convert the audio files to VMD files. If you would like to send the creative lips data straight to another VMD file, click on the word text and browse for MVMD file to send the lips data to. Each of the audio files will send the lips data to this file. This will not actually affect this VMD, but will instead create a new VMD files in the output folder. To change settings, click on the settings tab, point at the text to view two laps for each setting. In version 16.1, you can change the model mean that the VMD is for. Below that is the separate vocals that can be set to automatic, always or never to choose how Audiwood MD separates vocal files. Automatic mode will detect and separate if needed. Always mode will skip detection and always separate all audio files. Never will skip detection and assume files are already vocals only. Automatic is recommended if any of your files have music or background noise. Otherwise never is recommended for an additional big speed boost. Below that setting you can change the effect of the bad I, O and U vowels. Increasing beats can give you more pronounced speaking and decreasing can give you less pronounced speaking. Below that is the max duration for splitting audio files. By default, if your audio file is many minutes long and you load an unoptimized VMD file into it, you may get an error about the file being over the max number of points, which happens when there are too many keyframes in the animation. Audio 2 VMD automatically optimizes the VMD data before creating the VMD file, however to prolong issues with really long audio files. Audio 2 VMD will split audio into roughly 5 min to pieces. You can change this however here to increase or decrease the duration that splits the files after. The time is shown in seconds here. To turn off spilling completely, set this to zero. Below that is the optimize the MD lips checkbox. It's highly recommended that you leave this on as it creates a much smaller VMD file that is optimized and much easier to understand visually. Next is the two special settings that are only used for the extras tab. In the extras tab, you can directly give it a VMD file contain character animation data to optimize. These two settings sets the bone tolerance fidelity of the animation during optimization. Setting this to a higher number will decrease the file size but may lose some important bone keyframes. Setting this lower will keep more keyframes but won't reduce the file size much. It's generally recommended that you use the default of 0 0.005 or 0 0.001 for very high fidelity. Note that lips optimization is far simpler than bone optimization and should have no problem optimizing lips data without no tickable loss. So it's highly recommended that you keep optimizes VMD lips checkbox checked. After you finish adjusting everything, click on the Save Settings button to save the settings. To see the extra features, click on the Extras tab. 
This extras tab allows you to change VND files without needing an audio file. Here you can either optimize a VND file containing character animation data, or you can directly send VND libs data from one VMD file to another VMD file. These are all the features and settings of the audio to VMD key. It took about 34 seconds to convert this audio to a VMD file. Here's the new VMD file playing in Make a Make a Dance. Thank you for watching.